HaKadosh Boker Tov Shavuot Tov, we're continuing with Halachot of Shabbat in Siman Reh Samech. Last time we actually spoke about the importance of cutting our nails on Erev Shabbat and also the Ramah brings down that if we have long hair, so then we would take a haircut on Erev Shabbat. Now the question is going to be about the nails, how do we cut the nails exactly? So, first of all, we just have to understand that the Ramah actually brings down something very interesting. He says, Keshenotel Tzipornav lo yitolotan kesidran. Right? When you're going to cut your nails, you don't cut them in order. What does that mean? You're going to first start on the left hand, and you're going to start with the kmitsa, and on the right hand, you're going to start with the etzba. So, Blina will try to explain this, what's the concept behind it, but the way that it's going is that you never want to cut the nails one finger beside the other. It's always going to be one other finger, meaning you're always skipping a finger. Now, how are you doing this exactly? So, the siman is, is that on the left hand, you start divhaga. Divaga means is that what you're doing is, is that you're starting on the left hand, and when you're starting on the left hand, you're starting with the Dalid. Dalid is the fourth finger. So you start with the fourth finger, which is going to be the finger beside the pinky. Then afterwards, you do after the Dalid, the Bet. So again, you're skipping the middle one. So therefore, you're going now to the pointer. After the pointer, you cannot do any more the, the thumb, or you cannot do the middle finger, but you just did the Bet. So you have to go to the Hey. Hey is the fifth finger, which is the, the pinky. And then you're going to go to the third finger, which is the middle finger, the ama, and then you're going to go to the kmitzah, to the, to the thumb. Now that you just did this and you finished the left hand and you did all the order that we just did, now again, if I just finish with the thumb on the hand, so now one second, when I'm going to go now to my right hand, how do I do it now? If I'm going to go straight to my right hand, I cannot start with the thumb because I just finished with the thumb on my left hand. So therefore on this one, you're going to go and you're going to do the siman bid aga. So you start with the bet, with the second finger, then with the dalid, with the fourth finger, then with the aleph gimel hey. So therefore that is going to be the siman of how you're doing it. Blinada will try to explain why is it done that way, but the Ramah brings us down. Now what about, okay, do, does, do we have to follow that? So first of all, already the Mishnah Bura already does bring down the Maharam was not medaktek bazeh, vechen katvu al ariz al kadosh. Right? Also on ariz al kadosh. And therefore, they say that technically, okay, so maybe you don't have to do it. But he finishes with the Magen Avraham saying, but lechatechila, you should be careful with this. Although you should know that the Rav Chida brings down that the ariz al kadosh was not choshesh, and he says that if the Ariz al kadosh was not Choshesh, so therefore we don't have to be careful about it. And there's also another Sefer, which is called Petach Advid, that he says, why doesn't Maran bring this down? At the end of the day, this is a Rabbi David Abu Daham, so why doesn't Maran bring it down? Mashamah the Maran was also not Choshesh. So it actually comes out that it's not that simple whether we do need to follow it or not. But Bli Nether, tomorrow we'll try to explain exactly why, where does it come from, and what exactly are we supposed to do. However, though, at least you do know that for sure there's going to be a Lecha Techila, according to the Mishnah Barah, that you should cut it in this fashion. And if you don't, then you have the Ariz al on the other hand, right, that you don't have to be careful. But again, it's actually brought down in the Ramah, in the Shulchan Aruch, Siman Resh Samech.